Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, user FF4BV7ML7F. Thanks for the suggestion, user. You asked, what is molasses exactly? Molasses is one of those foods you've definitely heard of, probably seen in your grandma's pantry, but might not actually understand. Is it a sauce, a syrup, a weird cousin of honey? Or just the stuff that cartoon characters get stuck in when they're running away? Stay tuned as we stir through the dark, sticky truth behind molasses. Right here on Explaining Everything. All right, let's clear the gooey confusion. Molasses is basically the thick, dark syrup that comes out as a byproduct of refining sugar. Imagine sugar cane or sugar beets. They're loaded with natural sugars. When they're crushed, they give off juice. That juice is boiled down to separate crystals, which we call sugar, from the liquidy leftovers. And that leftover liquid? That's molasses. And here's the kicker. The more times you boil the juice, the darker and more bitter the molasses gets. The first boil gives you lighter, sweeter molasses. Do it again, and it gets thicker and stronger. By the third round, you get blackstrap molasses, which is basically the espresso shot version. Intense, bitter, and probably the last thing you chug out of the bottle. Unless you've completely lost a bet. So, molasses is just sugar's leftovers. But not in a gross pizza crust you leave in the box kind of way. More like actually flavorful and surprisingly important leftovers. Molasses has been around for centuries, and not just in Grandma's kitchen. It was the stuff back in the colonial era. In fact, the word molasses comes from the Portuguese melico, rooted in mel, meaning honey, which makes sense because it looks like honey if honey was really into goth culture. Back in the 1600s and 1700s, molasses was a major trade item. Sugar plantations in the Caribbean pumped out boatloads of it, and European countries couldn't get enough. Why? Because molasses was cheaper than refined sugar, and people used it to sweeten just about everything. It even played a starring role in the infamous triangular trade. Molasses went from the Caribbean to the colonies. Rum went from the colonies to Africa. And enslaved people were brutally transported back to the Caribbean to work plantations. So yeah, molasses may seem harmless and sweet, but it has a very sticky role in some dark chapters of history. And speaking of dark, let's not forget the Great Molasses Flood of 1919 in Boston. Yes, that was a real thing. A giant storage tank of molasses burst, releasing a 25-foot wave of sticky syrup that tore through the streets at 35 miles per hour. It crushed buildings, flipped cars, and tragically killed 21 people. Locals swore for decades afterward that on hot days, you could still smell molasses in the air. Okay, science time. What makes molasses so thick and slow-moving? Molasses is basically a concentrated mix of sugar, minerals, and other compounds. Because it's been boiled down so much, the sugar content is extremely high. That makes it super viscous, a fancy word that means goopy and unwilling to move quickly. Molasses also contains things sugar doesn't, like iron, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. That's why people sometimes call blackstrap molasses healthy. Though, let's be honest, if your doctor prescribes molasses instead of, you know, actual medicine, 
you might need a new doctor. Another fun fact. Molasses is hygroscopic. That means it attracts water from the air. So if you leave it out, it won't dry out like honey might. It'll stay sticky forever. In other words, if you spill molasses on your counter, congratulations, that counter is now sticky until the end of time. Even though sugar tends to steal the spotlight, molasses has a cultural identity of its own. In colonial America, molasses was so common that it appeared in nearly every kitchen. Recipes for things like gingerbread, baked beans, and dark breads often relied on molasses, giving them that deep, rich flavor. And here's something you might not know. The phrase, slower than molasses, wasn't just invented because molasses pours slowly. It became popular after the Boston molasses flood, when people realized, ironically, that molasses could move fast, terrifyingly fast, but normally it takes forever. Molasses even has a weird little cameo in American slang. In the 1800s, calling someone as slow as molasses in January was basically the ultimate burn. Imagine someone roasting you by comparing you to cold syrup. Brutal. So, what is molasses exactly? It's the thick, syrupy byproduct of making sugar, a sticky liquid born from boiling sugarcane or beets. It's been a cheap sweetener, a major trade item, and, weirdly enough, the star of one of the strangest disasters in history. Molasses may not be as glamorous as sugar or as trendy as honey, but it's got a story that's rich, dark, and, let's be honest, kind of hilarious. Because only molasses could go from grandma's cookie ingredient to literal tidal wave of doom. Next time you see that slow, dark syrup crawling out of a jar, you'll know exactly what you're looking at. Sugar's stubborn, sticky sidekick with a history that's anything but boring. If you're now scared of molasses slowly getting to you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't worry, you're probably already miles ahead of that molasses. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.